Welcome to two examples of solving linear equations in one variable that require multiple steps to solve. Our first step is to simplify the left side and the right side of the equation as much as possible. So looking at our first equation, we want to begin to simplify the left side by eliminating the parentheses or distributing negative seven. So we'd have negative seven times x or negative seven x and then negative seven times positive 10 is negative 70 or minus 70 and we have plus 196. Notice on the right side, we can go ahead and find this sum, 24 plus 32 is equal to 56. Looking back at the left side, we also have two constants, negative 70 plus 196 is equal to positive 126, so this simplifies to negative 7x plus 126 equals 56. And now we have a basic two-step equation. So for the next step, we want to isolate the variable term. So to undo this plus 126, we'll now subtract 126 on both sides of the equation. So this simplifies to zero. So we have negative seven x on the left. And on the right, 56 minus 126 is equal to negative 70. And after the last step, we have negative seven x, but our goal is to have just x. And since negative seven x means negative seven times x, the solve for x will now divide both sides by negative seven. So the left side simplifies nicely to one x, or just x. On the right side, we have negative 70 divided by negative seven, which is positive 10. So our solution is x equals 10. Let's take a look at our second example. Again, the first step is to simplify the left side and right side as much as possible, which once again means we want to start by eliminating the parentheses, or in this case, distributing positive eight. So we'll have eight times x, which is eight x. Eight times negative two is negative 16, so we have minus 16 and then minus seven equals 25 x minus 193. Looking back on the left side, we have two constants here which we can combine. Negative 16 minus seven is negative 23. So here we have eight x minus 23 equals 25 x minus 193. Notice in this equation, the variable term is on both sides. So in order to solve for x, we need x on one side. So we can either subtract 25 x on both sides or subtract eight x on both sides. And since most of us prefer to have the variable terms on the left side, let's go ahead and subtract 25 x on both sides. Notice on the right side, this simplifies to zero, so there's no longer any x terms on the right. On the left, we have eight x minus 25 x, that's negative 17 x, and then we have minus 23, equals negative 193. Again, now we're back to a basic two-step equation. So we'll isolate the variable term by undoing the subtraction, which means we add 23 to both sides of the equation. So this would be zero. So now we have negative 17 x equals negative 193 plus 23 is equal to negative 170. And since negative 17 x means negative 17 times x, our last step here is to undo this multiplication by dividing both sides by negative 17. Now we simplify, this simplifies to x or one x. And on the right side, negative 170 divided by negative 17 is positive 10. I hope you found these two examples helpful.